Managing projects can be challenging, but this Gantt chart template is here to make it simple. This tool might be the only project planner you'll need, with features like easy timeline visualization, auto task chaining, auto schedule adjustment, multi level grouping, actual versus plan comparison, and flexible daily, weekly, and quarterly views. And that's just the beginning. Let us show you how simple it is to start using these tools today. Enabling Excel Macros To unlock the full features of this Gantt chart template, you'll need to enable Excel Macros. For Windows, first, locate the template file on your machine. Right-click on it and select Properties. Under General tab, if there's message saying, this file came from another computer and might be blocked, then check the box for Unblock option and click OK. If you don't see this message, then simply close the Properties dialog box and proceed to the next step. Now, open Excel, go to File, and select Options. Navigate to Trust Center, then Trust Center Settings. In Macro Settings, select Disable VBA Macros with Notification. Then click OK. Close the Options dialog box, and close Excel. Finally, when you open the file, you may see a yellow notification bar at the top. Click Enable Content to activate macros. If you're on Mac OS, open Excel, go to Excel, Preferences, Security, and select Disable VBA Macros with Notification. Open the template file and click Enable Macros. Project Setup Click on the Configs button at the top of the sheet. This opens up the configuration settings. Review and update values of project configurations, including Project start date, project timeline duration, weekend mode, whether to show weekend, labeling option, list of holidays, and assignees. Once you're satisfied, click Save Configs to apply these configurations and return to the project view. Adding and editing a task. Enter task summary in a cell under task column. Enter task duration. Double click on a cell under start column and select a start date from date picker. Another way to set the start date for a task is by double clicking the corresponding cell in the timeline area. You can edit task details by updating the values in the corresponding cells. As the project proceeds, you can update percent complete. And it's also possible to change the color of each Gantt chart bar. Creating and managing task dependency. To create task dependency, Click on the Gantt bars representing predecessor task and dependent task respectively. In case of a schedule conflict between the predecessor and dependent task, the dependency line turns red to highlight the issue. To resolve the conflicts, update task start dates manually or use the scheduler tools to automatically adjust start dates. To delete or modify the dependency link, double click on the dependency line and select the desired option. If you selected a Gantt bar or a dependency line by mistake and want to deselect it, simply click on any cell. Auto task chaining. Auto task chaining makes creating a chain of dependent tasks a breeze. First, Populate the durations for all the tasks in the set, and a start date for the first task. Select the tasks, click at Scheduler button at the top, and execute the auto task chaining. Creating a milestone To create a milestone, enter the summary under the task column, and the key part here is to enter zero for the duration. Finally, specify the start date, and there you go, a milestone created. Creating a group. Enter a group summary under the task column. 
Do not enter any other information. Next, double click at the cell on the left to it. A triangle arrow icon will appear, signifying that this is a group. All items in adjacent cells below it are treated as group's children. You can double click at the triangle icon to fold or unfold the group. There's also a quicker way to create a group. Just type the letter G in a white space, followed by group summary. To fold, unfold multiple groups at once, select the top left corner cell, click the drop down icon, and choose the desired option. Creating sub-level group and item. To create subgroup and subgroup child items, indent the group to the target level and then create its children. We will start by creating the first level group. Let's call this group 1. Right below group 1, create group 1.1, which will be our second level group. Click at the cell of group 1.1, then click at the increase indent button on the right. Now group 1.1 is a second level group item and is a child to group 1. Right below group 1.1, add a few more tasks. Note that each of the new items will be indented based on the item right above it. To fold or unfold all groups at certain level, select the top left corner cell, click the drop down icon, and choose the desired option. Moving, deleting, or inserting a row. Click on an item cell under the task column. Click at the move up or move down button on the right of the item to move it up or down the list. Use the insert button to insert a new row below the selected cell. Use the delete button to delete the selected item. Note that when the item you're deleting is a group, you will be asked if you want to delete its children as well. Duplicating the items. Select the cells of the items you want to duplicate. Then click at the duplicate button at the top. Select a destination cell to paste the items to, and click OK. Switching views. To show or hide item details, click at the toggle details button. To switch between daily, weekly, and quarterly views, click at the day, week, quarter button. Baselining project schedule. Let's see how you can set a project baseline as a snapshot of your original schedule. So that as you adjust the schedule during execution phase, you can see how the project is doing compared to the original schedule. Once you have the original schedule ready, click at the Baseline Tools button. The Baseline Tools form will appear on your screen. On the left half of the form with the title Baseline, activate the Show option. Under the section Set Baseline for, click All, then click Yes. The Baseline bar in light gray color will appear beneath each of the Gantt chart bar. And as the project proceeds and the schedule get adjusted, you can easily compare it against the original schedule in gray bars. To hide the baseline bars, open the baseline tools form and uncheck the show option. To delete the baseline, open the baseline tools form, and under the section clear baseline for, click at the all button. Then click Yes. If you need to set or update a baseline for specific items, first make sure to highlight the targeted items below the task column. 
open the baseline tools form. And under the section set baseline 4, click at the selected items button. Then click yes. Rescheduling multiple items. Select the targeted items then click at the scheduler button. Under the manual adjustment section, enter number of days, for example, 7, then click execute to shift the items to the right for 7 days. To shift dates to the left, enter a negative number and click execute. Enabling copy and paste. Copy and paste are disabled by default for the project sheet to prevent unintended actions that may accidentally compromise its functionality. You can temporarily enable copy and paste by clicking at the toggle copy and paste button, and click yes. Please exercise caution when working with the project sheet with copy and paste enabled. When pasting data into the project sheet, Ensure that the columns in the source data are in the same order as those in the target cells. And use paste values instead of the normal paste option to avoid overwriting the properties and formats of the target cells. Last but not least, avoid performing cell drag and drop operation, as well as the cut and paste operation. Once you're done with copying and pasting, click toggle copy and paste again to disable it. Ready to streamline your projects? Check the link in the description to get your Gantt chart template today.